What's going on guys, Laxo here. Just want to make a quick video about the new daily recharge event. Looks like they have a new recharge, which is actually quite nice, but on the other hand, they finally, uh, looks like they finally got Renji out. Season 8 is on its way, it's Renji. A new chapter of Elite Stages, very nice. Level cap has been raised to 97. Finally, I think a lot of people have been waiting for that. And a couple issues that were fixed, I actually have definitely noticed these before. The D rank from 5v5 to 3v3, the formation, I have definitely noticed that. That was really annoying. Fix an issue were already activated Soul Hall effect, and that one was this one was really annoying, especially with Soda no Shudayuki and Okiyota, that was really annoying having to keep on swapping them and they'd swap back. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right in here. So the daily recharge event. I I actually do kind of like this one. You get your soul box tokens here, you get three of them. And if you do the math, I think it's about 170 per pull. So 170 times three, that's about 500. So you get about 500 jades worth of resources from spending $5 a day, which is very good. Uh, do that times 5, you get 15 soul box tokens, which is pretty good. You're gar that means you're guaranteed at least 4 at least four UR shards of... Let's see here. Who is in it this week? Tense is in Getsu. Tenses and Getsu, actually. Tenses and Getsu is in there. And he is always a good pull. And, yep, do that times five. You're going to get at least four Tenses and Getsu shards. And then you're going to have five extra, so you're guaranteed at least five weapon shards. Because I believe the weapons are on the fourth pull. Or maybe that is the UR shards. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, at the end of the at the end of the week or end of the five days, you get ten Omni shards, which is huge. I love Omni shards. Omni shards are just UR shards for me, pretty much. Whenever I get them, they always go straight into the uh, collection. As you can see, I have 181 saved up since Soda no Shudayuki, and I will probably spend those on another UR character that's going to get released here pretty soon. I want to say it is probably another Zanpakuto or Sword Beast, whatever you want to refer to him as. So that's actually looking pretty good. I love to get 10 of those. That is equivalent to about 2,000 Jades. So spending $25 throughout the week, you get roughly, let's just say 500 times 5, 2,500 times another 2,000. So you get about 4,500 Jades worth of extra resources which is amazing oh and those awaken essences which is about 200 so add another 600 you're easily at about five five k there so you get about 5k extra extra resources and jades throughout the week or the five days so i have nothing but good things to say about this one this is very good if oasis can keep on making soul boxes with with soul jades i'm sorry omni shards instead of the ssr well like, a lot of people need the ssr so i don't want to say that but without the other ones like the soul orbs i wasn't a big fan of that one so if you guys do need some extra omni shards this is where to get them if you guys definitely want to pull for some more UR characters coming up here in the soul box. Definitely want to do this. And of course, you can never complain about extra awaken essences. These are also really hard to get. Really nice. Anyways, you guys, looks like they actually do have another another daily recharge event on the newest server which I'll probably be looking at tomorrow. But nonetheless, guys, this will just about wrap the video. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do would appreciate it. I really would appreciate it. And, uh, of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But first, let's take a look at this. 
I finally got my Ichigo to 200k power. This was not easy. I actually had to manipulate a little bit over here. Put on the put on uh, this war soul that increases everybody's power. I had to put that on Vassalorde to increase Ichigo's power, and then I swapped over the War Soul of Crescent, which I had on Yoroichi, to Ichigo, which is also a pretty good War Soul on Ichigo, because he has probably the second highest, definitely the second highest rage skill damage in the game, so. Anyways, I finally got him over to 200k power. Anyways, you guys, that'll wrap up this video. Once again haven't subscribed, feel free to. I would appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on another video, which I'll have out tomorrow.